Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. If you're new, today I'm gonna be coming at you with some advice for moms. I'm staying positive. I know it's been a really challenging time for the whole world, but I think us moms have had it probably especially rough. adjusting to being around our kids all the time <laughs> amongst other things obviously the demands of a mother are never ending and our list is never ending but I'm here to give you some tips I'm gonna start off with some advice that I hope will be valuable and then we'll end the video with some actionable lightning tips so I want to begin with a thought something that has stayed a consistent reminder for me during this quarantine the quote is the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts and I want to remind you, because we tend to forget, that you only get one life. One, you gotta fight for your happiness. If you've been in a rut, if you've been in a bit of a funk, which I get it, it's easy to do, you only get one life. And your energy directly affects those around you. And those around you is most likely your family, your kids, your husband. In a lot of ways, mom sets the tone. Mom sets the attitude. Mom sets the energy. So as much of a responsibility as it is, try not to overthink it, but also realize that you have to fight for your happiness and be an example for the rest of your family as well. I've been reading this amazing book called Bringing Out the Best in People. There's a few little snippets from it that I found so valuable for anyone, not just moms. But I'll tell you why it's specifically valuable for moms to understand it. It says, the maintenance and enhancement of the perceived self are the motives behind all behavior. Meaning the actions you take, decisions you make, and the feelings you hold on to are a direct result of your self-perception or how you see yourself. If you're constantly telling yourself, I'm so depressed, I'm so tired, I'm such a slob, your actions and level of self-love will directly reflect those thoughts. That web of lies and thoughts that you've trained your subconscious to believe, those run on repeat in your head. Your mind will believe anything you tell it. Your perception and your perspective is a choice. Your reaction to your current situation is a choice. I'm not saying I've been perfect throughout this quarantine. So stop self-sabotaging and only allow the positive things that are gonna build you up to marinate in your brain. Anything that's self-destructive, it's not easy. It's easier said than done. It takes intention to kick out those bad thoughts. And you can do it, but it takes repetition, intention, and self-awareness. You have to do some soul searching and figure out what thoughts are holding you back from becoming your happiest self. So another quote from the book that I was reading, I found really helpful, bringing out the best in people. This is about leadership, but stay with me. In the end, the ability to give inspiring leadership is an inner quality of spirit. It requires people who, to use Emerson's noble phrase, live from a great depth of being. And such spirituality does not come upon us suddenly. It accrues gradually from persistent study and regular cultivation. And if you're watching this, that means you're a leader in your family. Because like I said, mom sets the tone. Getting out of a mental funk can be especially challenging when you're in isolation. But what are you doing to improve? Small steps forward are still steps forward. Progress is progress. If there's something you've been wanting to implement, like exercise, reading, meditation, positive affirmations, staying on top of laundry, a more consistent sleep schedule, whatever it may be, now is a time for introspection. But that does not mean to focus on where you're lacking. This is meant to be a positive exercise. Do not ever reinforce positive changes with negative thoughts. Do everything in your power to be kind to yourself and only allow positive and productive thoughts to linger in your mind. So keeping the house tidy and doing all those things is completely irrelevant to your worth. Your worth isn't found in any of these things. You are beautiful and unique and amazing just the way you are, but your potential is limitless. You are capable of living from great depth of being, but this takes constant self-awareness and intentional cultivation. So what steps can you start taking today to make this quarantine into something beautiful? Let me know what silver lining you have found during this quarantine in the comments below. Remember, we're all in this together and I'd love to know any way I can help you. Let's connect in the comments. And now it's time for the lightning tips for the actual, actual actionable advice. One, 
Minimize clutter. Organize your home and get rid of anything that could contribute to mental overwhelm. Because clutter, everyone's different, but I personally feel like when there's clutter, it, it does affect your mentality. I can't speak for everybody in this, but I definitely feel like it's worth a try. If nothing else, you'll feel accomplished after organizing that old closet full of junk. Two, invest in you periodically throughout the day. Do something that's going to make you feel proud of yourself. If you feel like a slob, brush your hair, wash your face, brush your teeth, put yourself together. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You don't have to do a full face of makeup, but girl, wash your face. <laughs> do a workout. Just do something that is going to feed you and make you feel proud of yourself because it's these small little things that directly affect your eventual success in finding your happiness, being proud of who you are as an individual and a mom. Three, music always helps always if you're feeling super run down or just low energy you can put your headphones in if you gotta listen to some ratchet stuff because that's what i always do <laughs> or if you want to listen to like worship music because i listen to both you can blast that over the speaker and have a dance party with your kids and that will instantly change the whole energy for your household Number four is another thing that will instantly change the energy of your whole household. Spend a couple minutes being completely goofy with your kids. Like be so silly and just giggle and laugh about absolutely nothing and it'll lift everybody's moods, I promise. Like the other day, Rosalie and I were telling each other secrets and we would whisper like this. And I would whisper something like, Daddy stinky socks. And we would go, ah, ha, 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 and just be completely goofy, but seriously, she loved it and both of our moods were lifted. The next tip is start a gratitude practice, like journaling at the end of each day. I sit down and I journal my thoughts. It's hard to capture a thought when it's streaming through your head, for me personally. I find it so much easier to clear my head, understand my own thoughts better when I journal. So I highly, highly recommend writing down a few things you're grateful for every day because gratitude is the best medicine for a bad attitude. Being grateful for what you do have instead of having a stinky attitude about what you don't changes everything. The next tip is only consume positive media. I know this is really hard right now because a lot of us are probably watching a lot more news than normal, but limit it. The media you consume, it does affect your mood heavily. And that includes your Instagram feed. If you're consuming people's content on your Instagram feed that is making you feel less than, you need to unfollow, at least just for the time being, until you're in a better place. Instagram's totally a highlight reel. This is something we all know. All the perfect stay-at-home moms, all those perfect families out there might not always be beneficial to be looking at all the time. So, or maybe just tuning out of social media in general right now is a good plan. And focus on your own family and yourself. Something that might be more of a distraction would would be to do something creative. I love to draw mandalas. I've been really wanting to do an acrylic pour. That's something I've been wanting to do forever, but those are just examples of doing something creative that might be more of a distraction more than anything, but creating something is cathartic. Creating something is a stress relief. Even if it is just a distraction, that's kind of what we need when we're in quarantine because if you let your mind run amiss, things can get dangerous. So lastly, I want you to remember this. This is not forever in quarantine and in life. Motherhood certainly comes with very challenging aspects that will be different at every stage and age range. But all we can do is try to keep a happy and positive perspective, enjoy the beautiful parts, and breathe deep, very deep, through the difficult times. Because as we know, babies don't stay babies. So kiss them extra, do everything you can to soak it up while still staying true to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video valuable. Make sure you leave your comments down below for other requests you may have. Subscribe for new videos every week. I hope to see you really, really soon. Think happy thoughts. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.